About a year ago, we took a bunch of pictures of the brand new Jazz Club to see how it looked next to other modular buildings. Well, this year we have the Natural History Museum, we built it, and we've taken a ton of pictures to see how it looks next to, well, all of those modular buildings that LEGO has produced over the years. So in this video, we're going to show you some of those combinations, and toward the end, we'll show you some of our favorite combinations. But of course, you all have your own taste and your own collection of modulars, so make sure you watch all the way throughout to see which combinations you like the best. Let's get into it. And so we're going to get kicked off with a bunch of different combinations, and of course, start with what LEGO has recommended when they came out with the museum. They've got the Jazz Club, the museum, and then the Boutique Hotel. Now, on the boutique hotel the right hand side I prefer this angle of it but the angle of the hotel itself does look a little bit weird uh, the jazz club though looks decent next to it but I'm not convinced and autumn also was not convinced by the cool yellow pizzeria right next to the olive green of the museum now one of the things I like to look at for modular buildings and their connections is how much room do you have to work with on the sidewalk and looking at the boutique hotel here doesn't leave you a lot of room with that lamppost now of course you can change where that lamppost is on any of these sets but looking at this one with that fire extinguisher there doesn't leave a ton of room but there's i think a little bit more room on the side with the jazz club with that pizzeria again a little bit more room i might move that mailbox though think about it for the future. So that's one thing I was thinking throughout a lot of these combinations. Now, of course, we can flip them around because corner buildings do tend to look different depending on which side you're viewing it from. And you can see with the boutique hotel, it looks a little bit different with the straight side next to the museum. I'm not sure I like that look. It does look a little bit better from this angle, although you'll notice along the side of the boutique hotel, plenty of oddly colored bricks along that wall jutting out in front of the museum. Not sure I really like that look, although the connection point not too bad with the mailbox and the lamppost and the connection point on the other side with the jazz club solid, although those light gray parts of the sidewalk don't match up all that well. You can modify this, of course, if you want to put them next to each other in your own city. So I also wanted to put together what they have listed on the back of the instruction manual, which is the bookshop, the jazz club, the museum, and the boutique hotel. I actually like the overall look of this. It's the most recent modulars, and I just wanted to throw it right down the street here. I think it's a great view, and it kind of looks nice. And of course, I don't have all the right minifigs out here just because I've been playing with my modular city and the kids have, but I think it looks pretty good. I wanted to give a little bit of a pan shot for this layout because this is one that LEGO does have listed there. And again, I think it looks pretty decent. It's a nice looking street. The size of the museum though does definitely show through, but with the tree and the window washer, it doesn't appear as wide as it could have without those. Next up, I took the bookshop and added that to the right-hand side, leaving the jazz club in there to get a feel for how that might look going back a couple of years with the modulars. But it's not all that bad when it comes to that connection point, as you can see from this angle of the photo. I'm not sure I like the apartment part of the bookshop there or the Birch Books. So next, I decided to start adding some additional modulars that aren't currently available or aren't all that recently available, like the police station and the detective's office. Now, I got to say, I'm not a huge fan of the light blue next to the olive green, nor am I a fan of the purple with the donut shop next to that olive green of the museum. And in fact, the connection point, really not good. I, this is more the police station's fault with the bench right there by that bush, but having the lamppost there isn't too bad. It just doesn't leave a lot of room to work with unless you expand the sidewalk out, which again is a problem of a lot of modular buildings. One thing I did notice by aligning the detective's office on the left side of the museum is that Al's Barber Shop, that side does have some of those oddly colored bricks. And next to such a prominent feature, wasn't a huge fan of that. But I did really like how the police station looks next to the museum on the left and i kind of like how you've got this new stand with the mailbox in case you wanted to mail something to somebody and this sand green building i think doesn't look too bad against the olive green 
of the museum. And that window washer next to that police station side, not bad at all, I like that. Also, with the detective's office on the right-hand side, I think that combination looks a little bit better in terms of the transition, although I'm not sure I'm a fan of the detective's office itself right next to the museum. Next up, I kept the police station there, but added the town hall. Now the town hall is notoriously difficult for me, taste-wise, to go anywhere next to a modular building because of its height. But I do think overall, it's not too bad. The column height does kind of even out. So the taller columns on the museum maybe look a more appropriate next to the town hall than other sets, given that it accentuates whatever height there is for the museum but still not a huge fan of it. Again, switching around the police station and the town hall. Um, not a fan of the town hall on the left-hand side though, um, although the transition's not too bad when you look at the window washer there. And even on the right-hand side of the building, the donut shop of the, of the police station, not too bad next to the museum. So one thing I decided to do after that is take all of the government buildings that we have from the modulars, including the fire station, police station, and the town hall, put them next to each other. And you know what? I kind of like this. Now this transition here from the fire station to the museum, I think looks pretty good, pretty seamless. And I like that added depth that you get from the museum. On the town hall side, I want to do a quick pan up here. And again, I think it looks pretty good. Although again, the height of the town hall is problematic. Then I decided to go retro, really retro, by taking the Green Grocer and the Fire Brigade. So modulars numbers two and three that are Lego designed. And I don't know about the bay window next to the museum. Autumn was very skeptical of that and I agree with her because I think it just comes out a little bit too much, but the transitions aren't too bad. You can't really fit a stroller here through this part. I've got the stroller from the assembly square, but the same thing holds from the stroller with the green grocer. Can't really navigate that on the existing sidewalk, but again, you can modify some of that. Looking at this transition between the green grocer and the museum looks solid. Not a lot of uh, oddly colored bricks or anything like that on the side of that transition. So I think it looks pretty good. I flipped the buildings around to have the fire brigade next to the museum on the left and the grocer on the right. And ultimately, I think it's a decent looking combination, although not my favorite. I do like the green grocer on the right hand side of the museum as opposed to the left hand side. I came up with the Hulk, the ultimate green combination with the Parisian restaurant and the museum and the green grocer, and it's a lot going on. I decided to show you first what it looks like on this transition between the Parisian restaurant and the museum. But of course, one interesting thing when it comes to the Parisian restaurant is that staircase up along the right-hand side to the open air section of the restaurant. It can be problematic for a lot of modulars. I don't think this looks too bad, and I do kind of like the idea of having an eatery next to the museum. But of course, given that little stairway, I decided to flip these around. Again, not a huge fan of the bay window for the green grocer right next to the museum on the left. But that transition olive green to olive green with the Parisian restaurant, I don't know guys, doesn't look too bad. Comment down below if you think that's a pretty nice combination because in terms of the height and many other things, I kind of like it. Now I wanted to add in Sanctum Sanctorum to this mix because of the sand green of the roof. And I'm gonna be honest, I do like the Sanctum Sanctorum to the right-hand side of the museum. I think the transition works pretty nicely. The trees look pretty good there. It kind of fits in a little bit with the theme of the museum. And that transition, pretty smooth overall. Again, similar I think in smoothness to that of the green grocer. Now, of course, if you put the Sanctum Sanctorum to the left-hand side, you've got that alleyway. And I gotta be honest with you, that's one of the biggest drawbacks of the Sanctum Sanctorum if you don't wanna make any modifications to it. But the transition with the bank, that's one thing that stood out to me. Love that. Love the way that the formality of the bank with those ingots as bricks, with some of those grooved round modified bricks 
makes it look stately. I think it looks pretty good next to the museum. So I kept the bank on the right hand side and went in added the garage and I'm going to be honest with you not a fan of that at all don't think a garage really works next to a museum so I kind of moved on from that and put the garage on the other side with the brick bank and I'm going to be honest not my favorite there either I think the jut out from this garage is just a little bit too much not a lot of room on the sidewalk um, also the laundromat next to the museum not a huge fan of that and the transition again not awful but not the best either just can't say i was a huge fan of the way that worked out after that i decided to get really crazy by taking one of my custom modulars from the 2023 friend set the furniture store placing that to the left in the downtown diner i went bold i went all sorts of color on this thing and i gotta say i'm not a big fan of this although autumn loved it so this is one of her favorites not her absolute favorite but the downtown diner is pretty loud as a set and that little staircase there i'm not a huge fan of it on the right hand side of the museum the left hand side with the furniture store not awful in terms of the transition but i gotta be honest ah, i'm not digging that look at all those colors so even though i flip it around i think it's a little bit better this way because you don't have the staircase for the diner right up against the museum and the shorter side of that furniture custom furniture shop is to the right hand side but yeah still those colors not working out the best transition's not awful can't complain too much about that but yeah i'm not liking it so much so i decided to move on and get even crazier by taking my complete custom setup from the 2023 downtown flower and design shops and add it to here and I kind of like the park idea next to the museum, although not digging that cool yellow. I didn't like it with the jazz club next to it. I'm not a huge fan of it on the left or the right of the museum as I have here. Now the transition itself isn't terrible and there's only a little bit of oddities with the transition on the bricks, but again, that color combination's not my favorite. Now I decided to go big and bold also with this combination by taking my biggest modulars, if you were to arrange them by actual set or custom, and take a look at the assembly square on the right hand side with my custom downtown flower and design shop on the left hand side. And I like the assembly square to the right hand side. The transition's not too bad and i think the overall street view pretty solid now of course corner buildings are essential for your modular city so i decided to take a couple of those going way back in time to the first two corner buildings that we have the cafe corner and the grand emporium the transition between the two not too bad the hotel sign flipped so i might want to consider looking at it from a slightly different angle by putting the cafe corner on the right hand side and the grand emporium on the left hand side and it's not too bad i kind of like this this transition from the corner to the museum pretty good not a lot stands out in terms of weirdly colored bricks same thing with the grand emporium and it really made me realize just how versatile the grand emporium really is now continuing with the corner theme i went a little unconventional here that's right the palace cinema with the Spring Lantern Festival from the 2021 Chinese Lunar New Year line. And the Palace Cinema, not too bad. I think it's kind of cool to have a little bit of an entertainment district with a museum and a cinema there. Can't say I'm a huge fan of the Spring Lantern Festival right there. But the transition from the cinema to the museum looks good. I like that dark tan with the olive green next to it. Of course, it helps to have that dark tan base to the museum. Even looking at it from this angle, looks nice. I gotta say, uh, you can have that spotlight. You can turn it and even look at the museum. Now, moving to the other side, I'm not a fan of how that lines up at all with the Spring Lantern Festival. I think you'd have to modify that brick wall to the Spring Lantern Festival. Even flipping it to the other side, it just kind of looks weird this way as well. So can't say I'm a huge fan of this with the alleyway. Uh, even putting the part of the Spring Lantern Festival between the Palace Cinema and the museum, just not digging it. 
So now it is time for our favorites. I'm going to start off by showing you Kiara's favorite. Kiara really liked the detective's office to the left of the museum, followed by the bookstore, and in particular, the bookshop itself with the apartment to the far right. Now, I've talked about how he didn't like the transition from Al's barbershop to the museum, but I do like this transition between the bookshop side and the museum. I think it looks really nice. The two trees kind of right there, fantastic. Lots of great color. And that's what really stood out to Kiara. Now, taking a look at Autumn's favorite combination, she was a huge fan of the pet shop with specifically pet shop and then the brownstone apartment and then the museum and then assembly square. She really liked that transition. And I got to say, I agree with her. This is a fantastic combination. I love the fencing of the brownstone apartment and even think you might be able to change that, modify that to match that of the museum. And it might look really, really good. The transition between that little coffee shop and the museum, very nice. All right, now we're coming to my favorite, and it is the police station with the museum, with the bank, and it looks pretty cool. I got to say, I really like this. Comment down below if you agree, or even if you disagree, giving you a quick pan right to left. The sand green windows with the white, I think looks really good at the brick bank, but also that olive green with the museum not bad at all the transition between the museum and the police station is great you get that full view of the billboard for the laundromat and you don't lose too much i think i don't think you lose too much of that sand green building looking at the transition from the bank one more time it's pretty good i think you might make a little bit of modification to the tiles there if you really wanted to go that route but the transition to the police station is really really good i love that that light gray continues without making any modifications looking down the street from the brick bank to the police station i think it looks really cool i gotta say the tree then you've got the other tree from the museum lots of life and activity on the sidewalk i think the bank looks stately the police station is a great architectural set I think it looks fantastic. And even wanted to give you a look at the top because you've got these great skylights for both the museum and the brick bank. I gotta be honest, that looks pretty cool from that angle as well. Thanks for watching all of these combinations. Comment down below what you think about our favorites and which ones are your favorites. And I also hope most importantly that you found some spark of creativity in putting together your modular street. Hey, before you go, feel free to check out our jazz club placement video or even our review of the museum or heck, even any one of the videos that YouTube algorithm is suggesting to you right now. Thanks for watching and always remember to keep building together.